What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, you guys, I'm going to take you through some basics. I'm going to take you through the most important basics. Um, these are the first two steps uh, to set up before running a Facebook ad, okay? Now, I'm referring to capturing leads. So if you guys are running um, traffic, running Facebook ads to an actual landing page, this is what it's for. If you're doing Facebook ads for views on your video or page likes or even an engagement ad, in fact, I, don't, I might as well just show you. If we click on this green button, let me just kind of walk you through this, 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 this beginning, beginner step. Depend on what you're trying to do. Now, if you're looking to capture leads or make sales, there's only a handful of these objectives that you're going to be choosing from. Okay. Um, so this whole video is based on the first two steps. If you're looking to capture leads. Okay. If you're looking to capture leads, if you're looking to make sales, that's what this is all about. Now, if you're trying to run an engagement ad, then you don't need to do this. If you're doing video views, you don't need to do this. If you're doing lead generation under this objective, you don't need to do this. And then for sure, um, brand awareness, reach, messages, you don't need to do this. So really all this is for is traffic and conversions, okay? These two up here is what you're gonna be running to capture leads and make sales, traffic or conversions, okay? So this is what's super important. When you're running traffic or conversions, you're driving it to a landing page, okay? And so these two steps are what's super important for this objective. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to first, number one, install our Facebook pixel. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into our page, we're gonna uh, click the three lines, we're gonna hit the drop down, and we're gonna go to pixels. This pixel needs to be on all of your pages, okay? Now, in this particular case, we have a landing page, we have a thank you page, and then we also have a calendar, okay? Now, when, when people go and schedule an appointment, then that person lands on a confirmation page. So for example, it's this page right here that is the actual confirmation page. Okay, so let me pull this page up. When they go and schedule an appointment, right? They come over here, they click here, they click on the green button, they schedule an appointment. Right when they enter their name and email and they click submit, then they end up going to this thank you page, okay? Thank you for scheduling. This is what I'm talking about. So right now, as you can tell up here, and if you don't have a Facebook Pixel helper, then you come over here to Google, install this, it's free, Facebook Pixel helper. This allows you to really, you know, make sure that your Pixel is working properly on your web pages, okay? So install this for sure, it's free. It's gonna sit up here. So anytime you're on a web page, for example, this one, and this thing is not lit up, meaning it's not blue or green, then that means that there's no pixel on this page. So over here, for example, let's go to the actual page over here. You can tell over here, now it's blue, and now you see the, the green and the number two. So the Facebook pixel is on here, but that's not the correct pixel, so I'm gonna update it right now for you guys and show you. Um, so this is what what lights up is that Facebook pixel helper. This is letting me know that there's a pixel on this on this page. Um, over here, it's not lit up, so it's telling me it's clearly letting me know that there's no pixel on this page. So these are the three most important pages. Okay, the landing page. Once they opt in, then they go to the thank you for your interest page, which is what we call a thank you page. And then if they actually schedule an appointment and they can and they and they actually go through with it then they're taken to this thank you for scheduling, okay? And so these are the three pages that are the most important. The, can, the calendar page, when they click on here, it's important, but it's, it's not that important. Um, what's important is the tracking of who actually scheduled the appointment. So the people who actually scheduled the appointment are gonna be going to this page. And so we need to put our pixel on this one. So we're gonna put our pixel on the landing page, we're gonna put our pixel on the thank you page after they opt in, and then we're gonna put our pixel on the thank you for scheduling page, okay? So this is step one. So let's come in here and let's grab our pixel. We're gonna click the three lines, we're gonna again hit all tools, hit pixels, and that's gonna bring you to this page right here. And then you'll see your pixel right down there in blue. So we're gonna click on this one right here. 
this one right here is our pixel. Let's click on this right here. So 4417, we're going to click on that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to setup and we're going to click install pixel. And then we're going to come down here to manually add it yourself. It's super easy. All you're going to do is click and that's it. We copied it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our website builder and depend on who you, who you use for your website, for your landing pages and all this stuff. It's all similar. You know, you just go into the builder, go into settings and you should see tracking, um, whether you're on Shopify or whether you're using click funnels, um, very similar. I know on a few of them, you just got to put the code or you just got to put the actual pixel ID number. On this one with Kartra, you have to paste the entire code, which is super simple. I just copied it and now I'm going to come over here to the page. I'm going to click on settings to the left and then I'm going to come down to tracking code and I'm going to paste that pixel right in here. So I'm going to scroll down and you see it right here. Embed Facebook ads tracking code. So there was one from a previous pixel, but I'm going to update it and put in that new one. I'm going to click apply, come over here, say progress. And that is the landing page. So now what we know we're going to publish live is we know that our pixel is on that landing page now. So let's go over to the next page. So let's return a dashboard. And then we're going to go to the thank you page, which again, when they go to, go to the landing page, they opt in, they're taken to this thank you page. So we're going to put our pixel on this one as well. Now this again is step one. Okay. This is step one. We're installing our pixel. Step two is next, which is the most important. This is the most important, you know, adding your pixel. But again, step two is, is, is crazy important. So we gotta, we gotta make sure we, we, we do that. So we'll get to step two here in a second. We're going to come in here. Now this is the thank you page. Thank you for, you know, opting in. And then we're going to hit the settings and just do the same thing. Add that pixel. SE, actually, excuse me, not SEO parameters. We're going to go tracking code and we're going to come down to the bottom and see, as you notice, it's blank. So look over here, you don't see the pixel, right? There's no pixels found. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that pixel in. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to come over here, save progress. I'm going to publish, publish live. And then I'm going to return a dashboard. So now when I come over here to the page, look what happens now. So right now there's no pixel found, but if I refresh it, let's see if it lights up. There we go. Turns blue. There's the number two. So right here, it's letting me know, okay, perfect. That pixel is tracking. And there goes a 4417 over here, 4417. So that is the code right there. Okay. So let me X out of that. And then I'm going to go to the last one which is the thank you for scheduling. Okay, so let's edit this one. Let's come into the settings and let's just simply paste in that code. Okay, we hit settings and then we come down to tracking. and we paste it. There we go there. Okay. Now with this one, what I can also do is I can add an actual code for the, um, the uh, event. So the actual standard event, I can, I can totally do that. In fact, let me, let me show you guys. So, so we come over here to hit setup. We hit install pixel. We click manually add. And then what I can do is I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to hit manually add event code. And this is going to be for a real estate agent. So I'm going to come down here to real estate. Where's real estate? Actually, property. Okay. So we'll go to property. And then that last page, remember, this is the actual thank you for scheduling. So what I'm going to add is I'm going to add this one right here the booking of an, of an appointment to visit one of your locations. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click copy and then done. And then I'm going to bring that code down to the very, very, very bottom of that last paste. I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm going to paste that in. So now if I click apply, say progress, publish live, 
now what I'm going to do is if I come over here, look, there's no pixel on it, right? If I refresh it, now we should see the pixel and we should also see the word schedule. Bam. There it is there. So again, the Facebook Pixel Helper, it just, it just you know, allows me to really know if, it, if, I, if I did it the right way. So that right there is super powerful. So now we have our pixel on all three pages. Now here's what we want to do next. So this is step two, okay? This is super, super important. Again, if our objective is to capture leads, so let's come back to the actual... setup we'll click on the green button and come over to the actual objectives so let's click this green button and let's come over here so again if your goal is to capture leads or make cells it's going to be traffic and conversions okay now the reason why i say and is because what if, if that pixel doesn't have enough data then you may want to start off running traffic. Traffic right here is send more people to a destination such as your website. So let's go back. Send more people to a destination such as your website app or messenger. So as you start to run traffic ads and get people to this first landing page, that's when the pixel is going to start noticing and start, and start learning the type of people who are actually clicking. Okay. And then as they come over here and they opt in and they end up coming to this second page, this second page, Facebook is going to start knowing who's landing here as well. So out the gates, you may want to just, you may want to start running traffic. And then once you start to get some pixel data, then you're going to run conversions. Conversions is what you'll be running 99% of the time to capture leads and make sales online. It's conversions, okay? But again, if that pixel doesn't have enough data in the beginning, um, you may want to start off with traffic, run some ads, put a, put a little bit of money, get some traffic data, and then, and then start running conversions. Start optimizing for conversions. So here's the second thing. So with that being said, 99% of the time, you're going to be running conversion ads for lead capture or for making sales. With that being said, what we want to do is we want to set up a custom conversion. So this is step two. You're going to click on these three lines. You're going to come down to all tools. You're going to click on custom conversions. Okay. What Facebook wants to know when it comes to conversions, they want to know your ultimate goal. Your goal is to get people to this page. But your ultimate goal is to get them here, okay? This is your ultimate goal, to get them to this page, okay? Your goal is to get them here, but my ultimate goal is to get them here. And the only way I'm going to get them here is if they fill out the form. If they came to the landing page, they click the blue button, they fill out the form. That's the only way on earth that they'll ever see this page, right? So Facebook wants to know what this page is. They want to know this, this URL, okay? And that's for conversion ads. So again, 99% of the time, you'll be running conversion ads. So we need to set this page up as a custom conversion. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We clicked on custom conversions. We came over here. And what we're going to do now is we are going to simply, let me, um, let me delete this one so we can start from scratch. Okay, so we clicked on we clicked on the three lines, we clicked on all tools, we went to custom conversions, and now we're here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is click the blue button, and this is where it all happens. Okay, so make sure that this pixel is the correct one, which it is, and we're gonna go with that's the only option there. So we're gonna we're gonna copy this URL. So again, this is the thank you page. Not thank you for scheduling, this is the thank you page for opting in. Okay, so we're going to take this, we're going to copy that, and we're going to bring it over here, and we're going to paste it in right there. That's the URL, okay? And then for the name, what I'm going to name it under is, you can name it whatever you want, but this one's going to be, um, um, let's go 1598 Rock. And, and in this case, it's a real estate agent. It, I'm running an ad for an actual listing to capture leads to sell a house. And so this one's going to be listed under, under that, you know, listing name. So 1598 Rock Dam Drive Leads. Okay. 
So, and then I won't put any value. Um, Facebook selected category. We use information about your business to automatically choose a category for you. So let's see what this is. I can actually, yeah, so this is perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look for lead. There it is right there. Okay, perfect. So now here's what's going to happen. So I named it. I gave it the category of lead. I click create. And so now we're done. And if I come over here and refresh the page, this right here, it's showing no activity yet. It, sometimes it takes a few minutes to update, um, but sometimes it happens right away. So let's see what happens. Right now it's showing no activity, right? Because, not, because no one has landed on this page just yet. But if I refresh the page, the pixel will track it. And this over here, should the, the, the circle gray, it should light up to green. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's see if it works that fast. Let's refresh this page. And now if we click on the pixel helper, bam, there it is there. So now it's showing that I set up a custom conversion and it's showing it clearly right here. Now this is public information. Anyone that, that, that installs the Facebook pixel helper and goes to one of your pages, for example, they'll see that. But at the same time, it doesn't matter. Like that doesn't mean anything. Like to the general public, no one cares about that. And to the average consumer, they're not tracking your pixel. Like they don't care about your pixel. They don't know about your pixel, right? So the average person who's actually interested in this property, for example, they don't, most likely they don't have the pixel helper and they're not even, they're not even looking at this stuff. So don't let this public information fool you or don't let it, you know, scare you. It doesn't even matter, but it, it, it I have it so I can at least, you know, track it on my end and know that my pixel is working. Okay. So now if I come over here and I refresh this page, let's see if the no activity yet, let's see if that updates. Bam, there it is there, you guys. So now we are tracking. So those are the very first two steps, you guys, that you set up before you run your next Facebook ad. Now, here's what we do, the, here's what we do with the custom conversion. Now we have, have a custom conversion. What we also wanna do, you know what? I'm gonna change this from two steps to three steps. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's the third step and the final step. We are gonna create an audience around all those people who land on the thank you for your interest and who land on the thank you for scheduling. Okay, this is the third step. So yeah, let's change the two steps to three steps. These are the, the top three. This is what you do before you run this next ad, okay? Before you run your next ad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to simply come over here, right? I clicked on audiences, all tools, clicked on audiences, and now I'm over here. We're going to click on this blue button, create audience. We're going to create a custom audience, okay? And this is going to be around the people who opted in to the original landing page and the people who actually scheduled an appointment. So I'm going to click on website, and I'm going to simply come over here. So again, here's the landing page, right? Here's the landing page. They click the blue button, they opt in, they come to this page. I want to create a custom audience around this page, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. You don't need to copy the entire link. All you want to do is just grab this part right here, okay? So we're going to grab that, we're going to copy that, and then we're going to simply go to all website visitors or people who visit a specific web page. In 30 days, I'll leave it at 30 days, that's fine. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll leave it at, actually, you know what, the max you could take it is 180, I'll take it to 180. And then I'm gonna simply paste it in right there, okay? And we're gonna name this audience, um, 1598 Rock Dam Drive Leads. Okay, and that's it, you guys, that is a custom audience. So we create audience, Failed to create custom audience. Okay, so let's see what happened. Um, people who visit specific pages, that's the, that's the actual, let's see what this is talking about. Um, okay, so failed to create custom audience. That's, that's super weird, that should not. People who visit specific pages. Um, 
that's 180 include rock dim i've done this a million times and that should not be happening i wonder what that is all about um let's go with let's see if i can if i need to actually paste in actually you know what that might that might be it let's let's paste in people who visit a specific page let's paste in the entire link and let's see if that makes a difference let's paste in the entire with the https and all that stuff so we hit create audience so something is obviously obviously wrong with facebook right now because that should have been an audience for sure that's as simple as it gets and that's as simple as it is um let me see if there is um sellers historic requirements for using custom audience to use custom audience you must be an advertiser or agency or data provider acting on behalf of an advertiser Okay, so let's see if that might have been a reason. Let's go back really quick. All website visitors, 180. All website visitors, people who visit a specific page. Let's see if that might have been the reason. Okay, so I don't know why the hell that's not working, you guys, but that's how, that's how you do it. That's exactly how you do it. There's obviously a hiccup in the system somewhere. But um, that is how you create a custom audience. I've done this a million times, and I don't know why that is a hiccup. But that's how you do it, you guys. That's the third step. That's the third step. And the reason why you want to do the, cust the, the custom audience is because when you, when you come over here and you start to – and you continually run ads. And this is if you continually run ads, right? It's not for, for those of you that just do one-off ads here and there. For those of you that are running consistent ads, the reason why the custom audience is so important, there's a couple reasons. Number one, because you can create lookalike audiences around the custom audiences. And when you're scaling, the lookalike audiences are what you're going to definitely need and want. That's number one. But then number two, as you come in here and create an ad, for everyone who opts into this property, I don't want to necessarily keep running more ads for different properties to the same people who already opted into this one now you may want to and that's totally fine but if you don't want to and and and, and this goes for those of you that are making sales or or just or just advertising any type of lead capture page in general if i opt into your page right i opt into your page let's say it's it's not on a property let's say it's on something different i opt into your page i land over here this URL is what you need to create a custom audience around, okay? Because you don't want to keep running ads to the same person for the same thing, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. And that's why when you come over here and create the ad, let's click on traffic and then let's click on create, or excuse me, continue. As you come over here, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to exclude that audience from seeing future ads okay so if i'm selling a facebook course and i get people to my to my facebook page right i get them over here to fbadsforbeginners.com and i'm running ads every single day to get people here people opt in they end up going to the thank you to the thank you page teach me facebook ads they end up going to the thank you page i want to be able to exclude so now i'm over here i exclude that audience from seeing future ads. That's why creating the custom audience is so important. Okay, so there's definitely a hiccup in the system because we're getting that error, but that's exactly how you set up custom audiences. And this is exactly where you would exclude them or include them when you're running future ads. So you'll be able to include or exclude those custom audiences, which are super, super important, you guys. So those right there, top three things, dude to do you guys before running your next Facebook ad. I'll see you on the next video over now.